Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to another 30 minutes of uh, demonstration with Genome. My name is uh, Céline Ross, and I am an educator for Genome Canada. So many of you are doing, most of you, I guess, are doing applique and some type of work asked for the same applique, a, a little bit everywhere, like a runner table or a quilt or the same applique you would like. So you need a few, let's say four, eight, uh, seven of each uh, design in different color or in the same color. So today I will show you how I do this with the cutting needles, they're, they're short and the end is not sewing, it's cutting. So you'll see, uh, you'll see how, um, how I'm doing it, okay? Um, maybe you have um, uh, the artistic um, plotter, no, the artistic edge, uh, or 12 or 15. But if you don't have well, this is another option. So, you know, our machine is doing so many different techniques. Uh, when you have our machine, you just uh, press a start and <laughs> let's go. Okay. So I see people coming in. So I'm saying hello to everybody. Lynn Tellier de Quebec. Bonjour. Patricia, again, I'm so glad to see, to see you. Well, see is a big word. Uh, Linda, Jocelyn, and her mother, her mother, she's, uh, she's the, the real queen. She's the lady who's going to be 101 years old in a, just in a few weeks. Karen, anyway, I say hello to everybody. And when I finish my live, I'm really, I'm in my sewing school and I'm teaching. So I will reply to you after, after my class uh, tonight as usual. Okay, so hello Terry, and no way, and it's far. Okay, everybody is far. If you're not in Montreal, you're far. Okay, so I'll turn the camera. I won't read your name because then I get uh, get lost. Okay. Okay, and I'm moving the camera, and this is what I'm talking about. So you see, the same design, same applique. Maybe you need more than three. You know, instead of cutting everything with just your little scissors, and it depends on the shape huh? also. So, whoops, my luminous is uh, flying away. Bah. Hold on. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, so how I'm doing this? Well, with these needles and this flies okay so to the lady who are my age or around my age we used to have a software Janome used to sell a software previously to the artistic digitizer and the name was uh, artistic sewing suite okay and it came with those cutting needles and those cutting needles were venere cutting needles. It was in the box um, uh, delivered in, into the machine. So maybe some of you um, remember this or bought it. I don't know. So, but gentlemen have their own needle, cutting needle. So either one is good. I'm using uh, this sometimes, this sometimes. It depends what I see first, okay? So, this is flat back and why well because mb4 and mb7 they have the ability to 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 do cut work also but the the head of the needle is round these are flat it's for every they fit on every genome um uh, embroidery model every Believe it or not, yesterday I worked on the 10,000 with these needles. So trust me, it's working. Okay? So any genome machine. I didn't try 8,000 or 9,000. 
I, I didn't try, so I don't know what to say. But you know, the machine really does whatever we ask the machine to do. Huh? So cut. Uh, huh? And this is the new packaging, new, which is a big word, okay? And it's called cut work needle. And you know you can have cut work design free over the global site. You download them free. So cut work needle, you can cut with your scissors. But if you have a bunch, well, okay. And if you want to order them, there's just one. Just there's no. So here is the part number. 202-200-004, or you ask your dealer, okay? And you see each needle, the angle of each needle. So that's the angle of the tip of the needle. So either one is good. You had them, keep them. You have nothing. Well, you cannot buy this. This came with an old uh, previous software to artistic digitizer, okay? So you have to order these here. Okay, so I'm gonna use these here uh, because it's open already. And what I did here, I practice, okay? You know, when you teach, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fast 30 minutes, but it's a whole day of uh, practicing and I'm gonna show this, 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 and then you realize it's 30 minutes, you skip this, you skip this. It's a demo, so I'm sure your dealer, or I even went on the um, Artistic Digitizer Facebook page with Anne Ein, and she's talking about the cutting needles. So maybe you can go, go back and check her video, okay? So when we do an applique embroidery with the machine, you have your placement line, then you put your applique into place. This is why it's your placement, huh? And then you do your embroidery or zigzag or design or uh, a typical um, applique stitch. You know, I'll, I'll, I want to cut this first to show you, and then I'll turn the camera to the computer and I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do. So my test, you know, you always test, huh? Anne is there again. Wow. Okay, so if Anne is there, I won't look then because she can answer you. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's hard, I'm sure, for everybody uh, to, um, to teach and answer at the same time. You know, washing the dishes and doing the vacuum, vacuum, vacuuming in the house, I cannot do it yet. Okay, so I, I start with three, but today I said I'm going to impress them with more than three. So this is my one of my tests. I test more than this, you know. I like to teach this in my school, and I like to, I like to give them homework. Oh, that is the best part. But, you know, that's the way you learn, okay. So this is my sample. And just before you... Before talking to you, I did it in French at two o'clock and I cut eight layers of cotton and each layer had the backing as a support. So I would say uh, this is called uh, heat and bond and you have steam a seam and it depends the brand you have or your dealer have or the store has. But look at the thickness and how, look how clean is the cut. And this is the leftover. Uh, not the leftover, the applique, I'm sorry. The applique, okay? So how do we do this? Of course, we have to do, first we have to go on the software. But the, you know, I want to cut and show you what I did after to do my applique, okay? So first, you need, and you know what? I'm cheap, huh? I'm going to reuse this. So I need my hoop, okay? And I need to put stabilizer. I put cut away, uh, tear away, I'm sorry, tear away. And I make sure that the design, not the design, all my, my fabric are um, a, a little bit, you know, no, I'm sorry, look. I, I want to make sure that they fit inside my hoop, okay? 
an applique is never that big. Huh? So I'm using the SQ um, uh, 10 uh, D. So I make sure this is in the same place. I'm going to really check. Yeah, I'm okay. And I cover with another tear away. Okay. And okay, hold on. I don't like to do it on the on the bed of the machine because I feel that I'm gonna break my machine. Okay, now on the table I'm okay. So I'm going to open a little bit because it's start to be thick now. Push. Very good. Use my le lever and tie it a bit. Now everything is into place. Maybe you say, oh, you're, you're, um, you're, um, I, I used it. Yeah, but I made sure before, just before I, I went online with you that my design will be bigger. So I'll reuse, I'll reuse my stuff, okay? Then I'm, I really want to make sure that, oh yes, I'm okay. You see, I'm really okay because I'll cut around. Okay, so two layers, why? Because nothing will move in between, okay? Then I did my design on the, on the software and I send it to my machine, okay? So here's my design in my machine and look what happened. It tells me to use my cutting needles. Cutting needles, there's always four of them. It comes like this in a different package, you know, the old one and the newer one. And they do the same thing. And trust me, I have them since over 10 years and they're good. You know, I sew a lot more than I cut. Huh? So uh, they're good for years and years and years and years and applique, applique, uh, uh, don't worry. So it's for like, uh, you know, like the printer for color process. So green, red, blue, and black. It's always the same, always the same. On my machine here, I use CM17. I see my cutting needles, but older model, I don't always see. I see the color black, blue, but I don't see the needle itself. It depends on your machine, but it does the same thing. When it's black, it's the black needle, blue, blue needle, red, red needle, okay? So it tells me black to start with, okay? I'm going to remove, oh, so Linda says, which software for cut work using, which software for cut work using the tenta? well, artistic digitizer. Maybe you had, the, before you had the, uh, artistic sewing sweet because this is how I got these needles. So it asks black and it says flat back. I'm not sure if I told you before. And I have a flat back. You see, if I turn, it's flat and round in the front, like for a sewing machine. Why they say this? Because our MB4 and MB7, you know, the, uh, the, uh, uh, professional machine um it's it's a round needle and they fit every machine a needle is a needle okay and guarantee i'm full speed full speed okay and i'm gonna ask my machine not my machine my screen i don't want to see the whole design what it's gonna cost uh, uh what it's gonna cut cut sorry hey my cutwork needles are dated 2014. So you see, yeah, they last, they last forever. You'll never buy another one unless you, you lose one. So go. Okay. And I'm full speed. And you know, huh? I'm thick. I have eight layers of fabric. I have eight layers of uh, backing of, uh, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, steam a seam or something similar. And I have my tearaway on top and at the bottom. So with, with sides and with 18 layers together. So imagine, huh? So I let the machine go. The machine knows where to go. Exactly like um, when we do embroidery, the machine knows where to go. 
So this is uh, electronic, yeah? so we just let it go. Okay, it stopped. So look at my screen and I put my machine in English just before. Change the cutwork needle. After changing the needle, press OK. OK, I will do it first. And it's blue. So I'm coming back on blue here on, on, the, on the machine. Well, I should lock my machine to make sure that I do nothing wrong. You know, sometimes uh, we talk and we forget, huh? When we're quiet, alone, at home, we do it properly. Okay. And you know, locking your machine is really important because, uh, hey, this can cut your finger. I forgot to show you something on the screen, but I'll show you after. Okay. Second part. Then it'll be the red. Of course, there's no damage to break the thread. So I remove the function to recognize cutting thread. You see the machine is not, uh, the thread is not, uh, the thread is not moving. It's right there. Uh, my thread, it's not uh, for sure. So I'll show you how I did this after. So I let it cut. And you see, of course you can do it by hand, but some, tricky or intricate uh, applique well you're really happy that the machine does it for you if you have one applique or two well okay but if you have uh, 10 well come on huh? even five huh? so and you're sure they're identical guarantee so i'll let it go it won't be long now it says red lock the machine lock the machine remove that one and don't forget that i always use the screwdriver because uh, um, my my fingers are not strong enough to tie this very good i don't want the, the needles with the vibration um drop into the bobbin case huh and that doesn't damage the, the, the bobbin case because it's too short, it doesn't go down. And it's made for this, if not, I didn't remove the bobbin case. And my sewing thread, my bobbin thread is still underneath in the bobbin. So, I'll let it go, the machine knows where to go. One more needle and it's done. Um, I say 1,200 stitch a minute, which is not true. The machine knows that it's cut work. So it stopped my speed at 1,000 stitch per minute. Look on the screen. 1,000 stitch per minute. While I know I'm at the highest speed. See my slider? So I, I know, but the machine knows what to do. Huh? It's a computer, right? Okay, oh, no. Okay, now green, the machine is locked. It locks by itself. And the last one, and then you'll see magic. No, it's not magic, it's uh, cutting needles. Okay, with my screwdriver and put it back on my magnet and okay start you know this is strong so i insert them inside to make sure i'm holding and when when they have a little bit of glue from the steamer seam or whatever i clean it with the alcohol okay just with the little uh, cloth alcohol just to keep them and I always save them in my uh, in my uh, little bag almost finished one minute and it's over but you'll be happy you'll see this is the result as clean as this I went up for Christmas we went up I said I I should say we um because my student here the, the girls was uh, having were making project uh we went up to 15 layers of cotton plus 15 layers of cut work is finished okay 
15 of each, it's 30 plus tear away, 32 layers. And I stopped there, was too afraid to go further than this. So it says, remove cut fabric, changing the sewing, changing to, to a sewing needle. So I'll just remove my fabric. Okay, and I'll show you something else after. Remove, okay. And I push, look at this. That's it, that's all. Look at the thickness I have. Look at the clean job. Whoop, a little bit here. Look at the clean job. Huh? So it's, uh, it's, should I, could I do this with the pair of scissors? Yeah, probably, but uh, uh, it wouldn't take five minutes like this here. Okay, so everything is inside. This is why I kept, because I don't need this one anymore. This is why I reuse, you know, we, like I always say, I save here to spend there. I'm old enough to spend, huh? to save all my life. I, I buy my to my toys now, okay? So I just want to make sure that because I'll do the applique, so I just want to make sure that this is my up my, my top part. Oh, I'm not writing good. Okay, so this is finished. Remove everything, put aside. Now I have to embroider this. I need to do my applique. So I have my fabric here, my fabric. Put the fabric into the hoop. I'm going to. Just uh, remove this from, okay. And slide this in. Insert my fabric in my hoop. And I will, of course, add tear away. And that's it. Okay. So this is okay. I'll do my, uh, and I'm going to use uh, one of the uh, applique. I don't know which color. I have yellow already. So I have yellow, green, purple. Which one I don't have? Blue. Oh, it's the first one. Okay. So I prepare my blue. And you want to go fast. It doesn't go fast. Huh? No, I have two here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I have my blue. I remove my steamer seam, the paper. And where I'm going to put this, aha, put back my hoop into place. Okay, uh, remove the last uh, cutting needles. Oh, it's here, I love this. Okay, and insert my sewing needle. I already have my bobbin thread into place. I didn't touch it. And I'm going to re-thread my machine. I used a variegated thread just for fun. You know, we have to test, huh? So, go, thread the machine, Let's finish. Underneath the foot in my foot holder. And I'm going to stabilize my, um, fabric underneath. So me, I reuse my tear away. Slide this underneath. Make sure everything is into place. And I'm gonna do my step number two, which is, um, whoops. Okay, which is my placement line, okay. Okay, then I will iron this into place, but 
if I want to move my hoop, uh, this here, I want to bring it to me, okay? I'll put it into place very right on top of my of my uh, there we go on my voyant placement line and I like whoops you see I like to glue it because uh, whoops because uh, ah. Okay, see, you have to be careful, huh? Don't do like Celine, do, do your best. But if I was alone in front of my machine, I will take more time. Okay, he's here to make sure I'm in a good position. This is hot, oh, no, no, Celine, no. whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll have a little bit. Uh, I'm just going too fast. Okay, and whoops, sorry. And then start again, and my machine will do the border, the applique stitch, I should say, not the border, but the applique stitch. And again, I'm now I'm a thousand stitch a minute. I remove my thread. So with the placement line, I can place wherever I want. So first I cut my, uh, my applique, all my applique in one shot, and then I do my uh, placement line on, on the real fabric, and then let's go. Applique stitch. I don't talk because this is loud. Eh? So more, one minute, it's finished. While it's stitching, I'll show you again. Oops, the part number just in case you want to ask your dealer. There's only one part number for any Genomi machine, so you're okay with your order. Finish. Okay, so, so you know, this is, this cuts, and you have lint. Look what the machine is telling you remove everything and clean inside and of course the machine recognize the um the machine recognize the uh, hey, look at this the machine recognize look at this okay applique stitch i use another stitch i use another stitch another kind of stitch placement line and just to show you see, don't be cheap like me. You see, I was missing a corner, but I want to leave it like this because I want the people to say, okay, step one, step two, step three, because it's really three steps. I hey, look at this. Oh, I'm so glad. So one thing I didn't show you here is, and you should complete. So this pattern again, no, I don't want. Okay. So first you have to deactivate your, I'm in embroidery mode. You have to deactivate upper thread breakage sensor. I had to deactivate it before when I was doing the cutting, okay? And um, uh, bobbin thread remained, oh, yeah, yeah, bobbin thread, I'm okay. And I asked my function. Uh, so, you know, I had to deactivate it. Here, I didn't touch it, okay? Because the machine will keep saying to you, hey, your bobbin thread is, uh, your, your upper thread is broken. And then what you have to do is you remove all your tear away at the back. Hey, look, look how clean it is at a thousand stitch a minute. This is just my, 
my my lock stitch here look how clean it is okay so let's go to the computer it won't be long uh sorry i thought this was replay i'm in uk huh? no i'm live i'm live i hope uh anyway if i see uh, some question i will reply to them um she has felt and her as a fabric yeah because i'm doing my sample so i i took a felt to try and then you can go really on your uh your uh nice fabric you always always do your test first huh? because it's too late huh? when it's not uh when you're in the right fabric oh la la okay now i'm turning the camera to do a design you see this is the one i just made okay so you, you can use your shapes here okay you can use a design you see i can use a cutting design uh i use a shape i use a design and uh, what else did I do? I did my test. This is no good. Remove, Celine. But, but you can do this one. Don't save. You can make everything. Okay, I want to show you this, this. Okay, so let's start something new. New, okay? Let's take something really easy. Um, ellipse. This is hard, you know, to cut really. Let's do it this way. Okay? Center in the machine and i don't want the inside okay back live yes it's me because i touch when i turn the camera i touch a button oh yeah yeah sorry okay so then the, here's my shape okay what do i want to do to this i want this is my cutting line i want a, a border to add a border and I don't see it here because my sequence is not open. So this is my cutting line and this is my placement line. I'll change the color. I will put red on my placement line. And my cutting line in the property, I will say cutting needles. Okay. Then I need a third line uh border okay this one i'll make it let's say blue and i will do it as an applique so how, how do i want it this applique look everything you have if you want the real applique is this okay you see yeah you recognize huh so if you want to uh, to do a, a regular applique, if not, here, look everything you have, and there's a lot, a lot. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it doesn't suit, sometimes it's it, it's it looks bad, sometimes it looks wonderful. You have all these choices. Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, cleaning and cooking. Uh, well, uh, hey, look look at this. It's cute. How can we cut this so round, you know, with our scissors? Of course it's possible, but if you don't have a plotter, if you have a, you don't have the artistic edge 15, if you don't, you know, this is a good alternative, right with your sewing machine. And then how do I do this to send it to my machine when I'm happy? So you see my cutting line, my placement for my, my applique and my applique stitch. That's it. And then I say, okay, send this to my machine, direct to my machine, design successfully. And I'll turn just to show you. It's right there. And you see your cutting needles are there. So it's recognized you cut before and then your placement line and then you applicate. Now, I'll show you something else. I'm a little bit over. You're using artistic for this, correct? Yes, I'm using artistic digitizer. The, the regular, the, the one that you that you probably have, okay? Let me show you 
So this is a shape I use here. I can use a clip art. I can use whatever I want. But let's say you want to be, you want to be, um, I don't want to use something I already use. I'm going to uh, parcourir. I want favori. And sorry, it's in French, but uh, okay. Let's say, let's say I want to use uh, this flower. Oh la la, can I do an applique with this? Of course. Okay, first, select, border. So my border is the last one. It'll be black. Okay, this is for my applique. So I want it on the top. Whoop. I want it on the, oh, there, let me see, okay. I want this one, uh, you know, well, on the top, 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 at the beginning, beginning, because I want to do my applique first, huh? One, okay. Then, <clears throat> sorry, then, I don't want this. Ah, huh? I don't want that. Uh, oh, I don't want this one. You see? Well, this, this is the designs, okay? If you don't want it, you can remove it, but I'd rather keep it because it gives some, uh, and if I don't want the background of this, if I don't want that one, you see? Whatever you want. Maybe you say, no, I'm going to keep this and I'm, gonna, I'm going to remove all the brown here. See? Maybe you want this. Oh, you know you're the boss, huh? You do whatever you want. Okay, almost finished, almost finished, okay? So what do I have here? I have my cutting line, okay? And then here, if I want, I ask another border, running line, and I want it on second, because this will be, oh no, I don't want it, I'm sorry, no, no. I, I, don't, I, I want my, no, no, I'm okay. This is my placement line, my placement. Okay, and then if let's say I don't want this, is it nice or not nice? No, it's not nice. So cutting line, placement line, border and decoration from a design, from directly a design. And this is what I did here. This is a built-in design. This is exactly what I did. I kept, I left my fabric. So you see, this is more soft. It's not as hard as the whole full embroidery. So it's another alternative, you know? This is what I did also here. This is step one, step two. Okay. Anyway, I hope this will give you a little bit of taste of, uh, I, I, if you have, uh, you see this? Oh yeah, I want to show you something else. Um, so I want something new. And I want to go to Courier and on the top, cutting samples. Okay, vector. Look all the shape you have. You can use them. You see? Now we have maple syrup that's coming. Okay? So uh, if I want to do leave, maple leaf, so I here I want. Uh, I don't want the 100. I want, the, let's see, 70. Is it okay? Oh, I could make it bigger if I want. So I can change. I can cut up. I went up to 32 layers altogether. So hey, look how nice the cut is all the way around. You know, it's not, it's a little bit round. So with a pair of scissors, would be. Uh, it would be something, okay? And then you, again, uh, border, yes. Uh, you want to see all your sequence. This is your needles, and this is your, let's see here. This is your um, placement line, 
and then another one as an applique. So let's put whoop, let's put this one red. And I want applique here. Oh, like this. There you go. Okay. So anyway, I know it's fast. I know, uh, I know. Uh, but you know, look, and I'm, uh, I'll turn the camera. I'm uh, on the artistic digitizer page, Facebook page, and she. I saw something. I didn't look at the video, but I saw that she made uh, uh, some. Um, uh, she she talked about the cutting needles. So, oh, I ten minutes later. Sorry. Okay, so everybody, I wish you a good week and uh, use your cutting needle if you have them. Bye bye. To everybody, I was talking into French. Bye.